Hello everybody, and welcome back once again to Emma Void's Let's Play of Wander Song. So, last we left off, Wander had... Er, Wander. That's not his name. His name's Kale. It would be, I wonder if you could name him Wander, though. Just makes me think of Wander over yonder. Anywho. <laughs> last we left off, Kale had delivered the ghost's message. Turned out the ghost was a princess from the opposing kingdom. And uh, then passed out and got thrown in jail, and Miriam here had to save their butt. So, you know, just another day. And it turns out we can't actually use the song we got because it's only half of the song. So, are we going to Chandash? Guess so. We definitely don't want to go back to rule. Since I busted you out of jail. We're basically fugitives now. Oh. Yeah. I told you. Rules. They gotta be broken. Okay, but can you go back in this direction? Because I heard... Hey! Don't go that way! That's back to rule, where we're fugitives, remember? Chandesh is the other way. Ah, okay. I heard from someone else that uh, I may have missed out on a dance. But oh well. Here we go. Uh-oh. No, the broom! Oh, and also, you know, Kale and Miriam. Oof. Oh gosh. Viv, we screwed up. Yes, I can plainly see that. What do we do? Are they okay? No, they look pretty dead. I don't want to poke them. Ah! <laughs> ah, I like these two already. It's alive! I'm alive! You're alive! My broom! She's alive too! Oh, thank Aya. Did you creep shoot us down? <laughs> yes. We're really sorry. We didn't know you were witches. You're not supposed to be on the border. We helped you land safely. What are you doing out here? None of your business. Lying. Viv, I think they're on a secret honeymoon. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my gosh, they super are. We're really sorry we messed up your we messed up your romantic flight. Ah, you but you didn't What are you doing out here? We're Vivian and Sandra! The spell squad! We're hunting monsters out here. Ooh, that's bad. Uh-oh. That must be it, Viv. Duty calls. Sorry again that we shot you down and stuff. We got a monster to deal with. Stay safe here. Well, my broom. Oh, Miriam, I'm sorry. That was the broom my grandma used when she was young. She used to tell me it'd be mine when I was old enough. The day she passed it on to me was probably the happiest day in my whole life. And now it's wrecked. I'm sorry, Miriam. Aww. How are we even gonna get anywhere now? The other nexus points are so far away. Stupid people just blasting whatever they want. I want my broom back. Oh, Miriam. I'm sorry. Oh. I hope that stupid monster eats them. I kind of want to go see it. I don't. But you have fun. Call me over if they're getting eaten. <laughs> well, okay. Let's go see what's up with this monster. Oh, and one of these again. Oh, crap. 
crap, it's bigger than we thought. No big deal. Remember our training. Ah! Gah! What are these things? Kale knows what to do. Alright, let's go rescue the other one now. Hey, you can fight those things? Well, I can sing. That's great! Welcome to the team. Help us with this thing. Are you gonna kill it? What? Kill it? We're not even sure it's alive. And we gotta protect our forest from it. If you're not gonna help, then stay out of the way. Oh no. Definitely a heck of a fight. Why do you keep attacking me? It's dangerous! I can't believe they let you jump in here. I guess there's no stopping it, so... I guess I'll help fight this thing. But only to save your butt. Aww. Miriam does care. Oh, 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 oh. Uh-oh. No, please don't hit me. Oh god. Okay. Oof. Ouch. That wasn't good. Ow! Stop that.
another down. Ooh, don't woohoo this. These stupid witches nearly got us killed. Twice now. What's the deal, huh? What was that thing? We don't know, boss. They started appearing recently. You mean, they aren't yours? Ours? What do you mean? Um, I thought the monsters were... Uh, like, a witchy thing? What? No way, boss! They're a total mystery to us. All we know is, they showed up around when the princess disappeared. Oh, the princess. Yeah, the princess. And the weird thing is, they grow out of the ground? And they don't seem to have a mind of their own. Vivian! Don't forget! Civilians aren't supposed to know all this stuff. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Military secrets, I guess. But since you helped us take that thing down, we can trust you to keep all this between us, hey? Where did you say you were headed to, anyways? We're going to the capital, I guess. Oh, you mean Mohabumi? That's easy. We can help you get there, no problem. Want us to give you a lift? No. You busted my broom. That's what I'm saying! We can make up for it! I feel like we should go with them, Miriam. Oh, poor Miriam. <laughs> she looks so sad. She feels so weird, riding on someone else's broom. Grumble, grumble. Poor Miriam. <laughs> What's this? Okay, get off here. This ferry goes straight to the capital. Seriously? You can't even take us all the way there? After you wrecked my broom? Hey boss, we got stuff to do, and it's still a while to go. You'll be there tonight. Good luck. Stupid witches. They helped us, Miriam. After shooting us down, and only because they thought we were Chandesh too. Oh gosh, Miriam. We totally forgot to tell them. The invasion from Rule. It's tomorrow. Oh yeah, and Rule thinks Chandesh is behind the monsters, but they're a threat to these people too. We have to stop it, Miriam. I get that it sucks, but it really isn't our problem. What? How can you say that? We can't let them keep fighting. They have to learn to settle their differences, to fight their common enemy. If you don't learn the Earth Song, it won't matter. Don't forget, we're fugitives too, remember? We need to keep our heads down. Get the Overseer's Song and get out. Before the invasion starts. And without calling attention to ourselves. I think we've had enough being attacked and suspected and jail time. I don't even remember the jail time. <laughs> well, I do! <laughs> uh, can we please just play it cool here? Yes! Cool as a cucumber! Alright, Kale. Ah, I didn't realize the capital was still so far. We're gonna be on this boat all day. It's just like when we were pirates. Remember that, Miriam? No, I completely forget. I must have hit my head. Many times. Yeah, we hung out with pirates. <laughs> and they really liked coffee and... Oh, you're joking. Sometimes I wish you were too. <laughs> never been to Chandesh. Is it where all witches are from? I wonder if my parents ever lived here. It's a little weird. I've never really been around other witches before. Grandma Sappy told me there was a kingdom of witches. It never crossed my mind to go, though. Back in Delphi, I was the only witch. It made me kind of special. This whole kingdom feels like a big club that I was never invited to. I'm just gonna stay here and avoid talking to anyone. Aw, Miriam. 
Miriam just wants to be accepted. Oh, it's a door. Well, hold up. There's somebody outside we should talk to. Hmm. Oh, hello. I do apologize if I seem distracted. I'm in a bit of a pickle, you see. I'm in charge of the musical entertainment this evening, but I forgot the most crucial element. Music. <laughs> That's pretty crucial, yeah. The band has no score to play. Oh. Yes, yes. They're all preparing in their quarters now, but they must be as bamboozled as I am. Hmm. Well, we could... No, no, not that. But it, what if... Hmm. So, I get the feeling we're gonna help her out. Uh, hey! Who do we got here? What are you headed to Mohabumi for? I was out in the boonies visiting family, personally. Can't wait to get back home now. All the good stuff is in the city. This boat ride is so dull. Someone told me there's a performance later? But then she got all mumbly and quiet, so I'm not really sure if there is one or not. Apparently someone famous is on the boat. I don't know who. Wasn't really paying attention. People just keep telling me things. Guess I have one of those faces that people want to tell things to. <laughs> Apparently. Hey, who do we got here? Uh... <clears throat> Hello. I am the captain of this boat, and I'm also the marimba player in the band. Of the three parts, I go first, because I'm the captain, and captains are the leader. It's easily the most important part of the performance. I have to capture the audience's interest and set up the rest of the song. But I don't have any music to play. Perhaps you could compose it for me. Uh, maybe, but I feel like we shouldn't jump right into that first thing. I see. Don't worry, Edward. I'm sure we'll probably come back and help you with that in a moment. Oh, it's locked! Oh, well. Hello. You know, I don't seem to recall seeing you on this vessel. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, I've definitely been around. Just another witch from Chandash. That's me. Most peculiar. Well, you don't need to answer this, but I must ask. Are you a member of the Spell Squad? What? Of course. How rude of me to be so direct. I shan't ask more of it. Us civilians really don't know much, mind. Only theories and rumors. They say that Rule was behind the princess's disappearance. And that she's no longer living. You really needn't confirm or deny anything. Your silence says it all. Uh-huh. I'm sorry if my questioning has bothered you. Your secrets are safe with me. Really, I'm thankful for all the great work the squad does. All while hiding plainly among us. Uh-huh. Okay. Hey! Who do we got here? Hola! Here for the show this evening. I'm in the band, you know. And my part is the most important. I'm the last to play. The big finale. I'm the part everyone remembers long after the show. It must be exciting to meet me, oui? There's just one small problem. Our conductor lost the music. Ay ay ay. I could probably wing it and be fine by myself, but how would the band keep up with me? It's unfortunate, but true. Wish them luck tonight. All right, Fernando. And who's this? Oh! You spooked me! Why would you just run into someone's cabin? Well, it so happens I have a problem right now. I'm singing for the band performing this evening. But our conductor lost the music. Shame. What do you know about music? <laughs> is that so? Well, I'll have you know. My part is the absolute most important. I'm dead middle. Part two of three. 
have to keep the audience interested, all while filling in the real meat of the song. If you can write for that, then let's see what you've got. Hmm. to the band now too. La la, this is the middle part. How do you like it? Why thank you. Alright. You know what, I just had a thought. Maybe we should actually like talk to... would be if we improvised a new score to play. But, oh, what a gamble. If only we had a composer on board. Well, I guess that's pretty much us. So, although... No? Nothing? Okay. Then, yeah, it's our job to... get everybody ready. Hola! Just waiting for the show tonight. What? You? Think you can make something worthy of the big finale? Well, let's see what you've got. Looks like we got ourselves a finale. Just gotta make sure the band's with us. Are you going to compose my part? Most excellent. Remember, I'm the first to play. So please, keep that in mind in your composition. Alright, so let's try... Let's 
let's try that out. Most excellent. I believe I was the last one to need assistance. Now it's nearly time for the band to perform. This is my part, the first to play. Is it still to your liking? Yeah, let's leave it like that. I must agree. Huh. Interesting. If I use different uh, buttons to move, the interact button changes. Huh. Okay, well, let's head outside and talk to... I don't know, is she the conductor? Or I'm not sure what her deal is. Well, goodness me! Miraculously, the band is all music- all has music to play. Won't you join us for the show, then? Okay, well. Hopefully I didn't ruin everything. Ahem. <clears throat> Thank you for coming on this empty boat with nothing else to do. <laughs> May we now present to you our song, which somebody just made up today. God damn it. No. So I'm glad that you were not lost. Damn it. Bravo. Bravo. Oh crap. It's Miss Hero. We're so honored by your attendance. Oh no, no, no. The honor is all mine. But you know, what I'm not honored by is the attendance of these criminals. Criminals? Yes, I'm afraid so. These rogues broke through Rule's border, cheated their way into the king's court, and made a getaway from prison to here. They're fugitives from Rule. Uh, are you sure these people are gonna care? I can't believe how cool these punks are! <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, they broke every rule in the book. All the subterfuge rule? The scoundrels who took our beloved princess. An enemy of those villains is surely our friend. Guess that would explain some things, like how we found her. But why would they do that? Don't you know? The people of Rule hate Chandesh. They'd do anything to get at us. Oh, Miss Hero. She must have retired for the evening. I cer it certainly is getting late. As captain, I advise that all guests on the boat take it easy and enjoy themselves tonight. Ah. <laughs> uh... Well, that was certainly a thing. Ah. <laughs> uh... Minstrel. Huh? What was that? Minstrel. Whoa! It's me, the princess. The ghost you met. You delivered my message to the king. Oh, you scared me. Yes, well, it's very hard not to do that. When you're dead. <laughs> Please listen to me. I'm trapped in your body, and I still need your help. But I can help you too. The Queen, 
we need to speak with her, right? That's my mom. I need to talk to her too. Before the invasion tomorrow. But it won't be easy to get to her. Mohabumi is a place for magical people. And you can't use magic, can you? Nope. Right. But if we work together, I think we can figure something out. Like, I like teamwork. It's a bit new to me, but so is being dead, and I guess it hasn't stopped me yet. Sorry for, um, invading your body, and then being trapped inside it. That was pretty rude. And you've already done so much for me. I realize I'm asking a lot. It's cool. It sounds like we need your help, too. Guess so. My name's Hala, by the way. The city is just ahead. We are getting very close, everyone. As captain, I would recommend that we all prepare to disembark. Well then. The princess is still with us, apparently. Welcome to Mohabumi. Please take this complimentary guide map. We got a map. Okay. We got a map. It's a map. It's a map. Hey! This map doesn't have anything on it! It will fill itself in as you visit different areas. Non-magical persons will have trouble accessing much of the city, so we do not clutter the map with places you cannot see. As you may have noticed, the city is entirely underground. We keep it lit by magical crystals. Visitors often find this unusual, but a vertically designed city is more, face more space efficient and convenient to navigate, if you can fly, that is. Uh, yeah, I guess. There's much to enjoy here in Mohabumi, even if you are not magical. The main marketplace is just ahead, and if you are interested in the study of magic, the academy is also on the ground floor. Well, okay. Um, no, I can't get back on the boat. Alright. Hmm. Magic gift. Why, hello! Welcome to Bohabumi. The band is all dispersed now, but we really were big fans of your composition. Perhaps we'll save it for future shows. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Not to worry, Rule won't be able to reach you here. Bohabumi is like a huge fortress. Although, hmm, you can't use magic, can you? You'll have a hard time getting around town on foot. I'm a complete fool for these shops. Every time I come, I feel I have to purchase something. Or two, or three, or four things. Mostly these shops are tourist traps for visitors, of course. The classier places are higher up in the city. But they're just so colorful and lovely. I suppose I really am easy. <laughs> hey, Miriam. Oh, she's having to buy a new broom. I guess they sell brooms in this witch city. Don't know why I didn't think of that. They all look like crap, though. We don't have money, also. Oh, yeah. This always happens to us. How are we ever going to get anywhere? Apparently, if you can't fly, you can't even get to most of the city. Really missing my broom right now. I really wanted to see the city, too. I've never been around so many witches. One way or another, we have to meet the queen. She's got the overseer's song, right? Don't worry, Miriam. I have a plan. Really? To meet the queen? Mm-hmm. Huh. Okay. I'll work on getting a broom. Somehow. Hello, yes. Please peruse my shops. I'm sure something will catch your eye. Let me know if you have any questions. These brooms are the finest in Mohabumi. My family and I cut these ourselves by hand. They don't look that good. Then your eyes deceive you. Are you an actual witch by, by chance? These brooms aren't really intended for, uh, actual flying. 
They are collector's items for tourists. But they are still worth purchasing. And they make wonderful gifts. Uh-huh. Well, alright, buddy. Whoa. Hey! You can see me, right? Oh, no, that's not... That's not Kale talking, it's the princess. You can see me, right? I think I can talk through reflections. So, that's handy. If you want to meet the queen, I have an idea of where to start. My sister is a student near here. She might know some way to the palace. I'm marking her on your map, okay? Uh, excuse me. Oh. <laughs> excuse me, please refrain from talking to the mirrors. It looks creepy. But I didn't say anything. Well, I could plainly hear you. Oops. <laughs> Other people can hear me? This ghost thing takes some getting used to. Ahem! <laughs> ah. Well. That's certainly interesting. Ooh. Step right up. Why not look here for some hot new threads? That outfit is cute, but maybe it's a bit dated. You'll find something you love here. The people of Mohabumi have the best fashion in the world. Ask anybody. We're famous for it. Don't you want to look fabulous, too? Your little feather cap is the definition of cute. Where did you get it? Oh, thanks. I made it, actually. Huh. I found the feather first and thought it was really cool. So I wanted something to put it in. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm not super good at sewing, so I got my friend Marley to help. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. What a great story. Wait, I wasn't done. Oh. See, because then we had to find... <laughs> uh, blah, 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 and that's how we made it. Great. <laughs> well, uh, if you want to buy anything, you can do that. <laughs> Oh, uh, poor shopkeep. I've traveled all over the world, but I've never seen a city like this. Mohabumi is really a magical place. Literally, because it's magic. Without magic, it's hard to reach most of the city. But there's so much to see in the tourist areas. I visited the academy and sat in a class there. It was a little pointless, but it was interesting seeing how witches learn. I'm writing a travel guide, actually. I want to see everything the world has to offer. What about you? Where do you think I should go next? Oh. Uh, let's see. Chismas, Shishin, Langtree, Delphi, Tango. Delphi! Delphi, I know that place. I hear the leaves are pretty in the autumn. And there's a really cool band from there, too. <laughs> uh. <coughs> Oh, bother. This baton is always acting up. It's an old family heirloom, enchanted somehow to react to music. But the thing's so bloody sensitive. I can't so much as walk by a musician. I'm sure it's lovely for conducting, as long as the band is kilometers away. On one occasion, I was out and about with this thing, and I had the misfortune to run into a marching band. I was trapped up in a high place for hours, they had to bring someone to get me down. Something so music sensitive could be useful. Perhaps. So I thought to bring it to the academy. Chaps here know a thing or two about magic. Or maybe they could fix the bloody thing. That would be nice. Hmm. Whoa! <laughs> Blimey! Oi! Could you stop that, please? Blast it thing enough already! <laughs> ah. Okay, that that was fun. Oh hey! Ah, it's you from the boats. Are you a student here? <laughs> Wink. I'm winking, of course, because I know you are not. If you have come to learn about magic, well, while I admire your pursuit of that knowledge. There's not much you can do with it. You're not a witch, correct? Unless you are born with the gift. Why are some born with magic and some not? The answer is not clear to us yet. That's the primary subject of my research here. Okay, so you can tell... We're not... You can tell that Kale's not a witch. But you can't tell that they're not part of 
the spell squad. Hmm. I bet we're going to be able to use these to move around. Ah! Oh! Sorry if I didn't notice you just now. I'm working on my thesis. Just going back and forth from my room to the library, day and night, forever. And I forget how to talk like a normal person. I'm studying different kinds of magic. Different individuals produce different magics, even when they attempt the same thing. But now I'm freaking out because there's no reason I can find for why that is. It won't make for a very compelling presentation. The Academy is so important to me. I grew up always thinking I'd study here, dreaming about it. And now that I'm here, I want to create the most groundbreaking thesis. Really discover something. But it's easier said than done. Now I just hope I can graduate. Ugh, I feel you there. Aha! Look who it is. Kendra! Sis? Kendra! Am I seeing things? How? What are you doing in front of- uh, doing in that mirror? I need your help, Ken. I need to talk to Mom. Oh gosh, how? She's been worried sick about you. We all have. What happened to you? I died, Ken. I know that, but how? An accident. An accident? That's all I get? Everything's always a secret from me. They didn't even tell me when you vanished, Hal. I'm not a baby anymore. I'm sorry, Ken, but I can't talk about it now. What do you need? I'm tied down to this body. Hi, by the way. I'm a bard. But we don't have access to magic. So how can we get into the palace? Hmm, no magic. Wait a second. Did you say you're a singer? What? Oh, that's right. What? I was just studying this in class. It's a little known fact that magic is actually just advanced music. What? And way, way, way back, we used to use songs to do magic. Found it. Try singing this. Ah! It worked. It worked? I can do magic? Sort of. Singing is primitive compared to real magic, but these crystals are extra magic sensitive, so they'll respond to you. That's the only example song in the book. I wish I could be more help. I bet Amaris would know tons more spell songs. Oh no, not her. Who? Our older sister. She's headmaster of this whole school. And yeah, a pain to deal with. I don't want to see her. I don't think she wants to be seen. By anybody. She's been hiding at the top of her tower for weeks. There's also Badria. I can mark where she lives for you, Hal. Maybe she can help too. That's a much better idea. Thank you, Ken. I wanted to give you a hug just now, but I guess you're just a ghost in a mirror. I love you, Hal. I love you too, sis. You know the story about the goddess Aya creating the universe with song and all that, right? According to the book, since the universe is fundamentally just music, we discovered we could use music to manipulate it, and that's what evolved into magic. It sounds pretty crazy, but it does work, so I guess it's true. I wish I could just take you to the palace myself, but you have to cast the spell yourself to get in. Write it down on your map so you don't forget it. I don't know what to do now. I have so many exams. I was keeping so busy. I'd managed to stop thinking about what happened. But now it's all coming back in such a rush. Oh, Hal. Whoever you are, please take good care of Hal. All my sisters are too old and stuck up to be my friends. Except Hal. She was the best. She's a good person. 
I might start crying soon. Um, I don't want you to be here f for that. Woo! What? <laughs> we bounce on them. That's awesome. Interesting. Are you one of my students? <laughs> of course not. If you were, you'd never forget me. Take magical engineering sometime. You'll love it. I'm rather like a bear. I'm fairly placid until provoked. And I like to hibernate three months of the year. <laughs> That's probably as far as the analogy goes. I don't make a habit of scratching my rear end on trees. The administration would frown on that, even with my tenure. <laughs> Alright, buddy. My students are brilliant. They're building a device to go up into space. Why? Who knows? Maybe they'll poke Aya herself in the eye. <laughs> uh huh. Hey! Oh. Miriam! <laughs> you got a broom! Yeah. I had to do a bunch of pointless side quests, but I got one of those cheap shop brooms. It's not exactly. Good. Going more than a couple feet off the ground is pretty terrifying. I'm trying to get used to it. Well, that's okay. Guess what? What? I learned how to do magic. What? Singing can do magic. And not just like the magic of friendship, but real magic, like spells that do things. That's great. Well, I'm in no shape to take a passenger yet. So I guess keep doing your thing, figure out how to get into the castle, I'll learn how to fly this thing, and then we can join forces. Poor Miriam. Uh, uh, this is embarrassing! I only ever flew my grandma's broom. Everyone here makes it look so easy, and I look like an idiot! I guess now I'm just the failure witch, who can't even do basic witch things. It's okay. I can't fly brooms either. Yeah, but you aren't a witch. So this is a witch academy. Never thought there'd be a school just for magic. It seems so boring to study. What? Magic is cool, Miriam. Yeah, of course it is. So why would you study it? Magic is all about doing cool things. Reading about it seems like a waste. So wait, you can do magic by singing, huh? Sure can. They said magic is advanced music. I always knew music was magical. How is it that I did magic my whole life and I never knew that? It feels so weird. It's like this thing I've had my whole life was keeping secrets from me. Did Grandma Safi know? She never really taught me stuff. We just went outside and did stuff. To me, magic was always a thing that just was. To think it's something with an origin, that you can study and understand, it takes the magic out of it. <laughs> Poor Miriam. She's just, she's struggling so hard. Even if magic is made of music, that doesn't really take the mystery out. Music is an even bigger mystery, Miriam. What? No it isn't. Music is just like notes, like ABC, that you can count and put in order. What? Oh my gosh, Miriam. That isn't even close. Music is so much more than that. Trust me, I'm a pro. Music is sounds and vibrations. It's the way the whole universe moves. Nobody can understand all of it. Hmm. Well, that's not really what magic is to me. But I guess it sounds better than just notes. I think that's okay. The other thing is, it can be whatever you want it to be. Sure. But I don't know why you'd want to study it. Because learning is fun. Okay. <laughs> uh. Hey. Oh, I don't go here. I was just stopping by to deliver my boyfriend some dinner. I'm an awesome, supportive girlfriend. He's studying hard night and day. When you fall into that, it's easy to forget everything, like eating. He'd never forget me, though. 
He'll become a grand witch, and we'll get married. Yes, it's a total dream life. These days are the tough ones. He's in school, and I'm busy with work. We hardly see each other now. But it will all be better in the end. Sometimes I worry that the war will reach us here, and he'll be called to battle as a grand witch. Our perfect life would be short-lived. All I can do is hope, and keep telling strangers about all my worries. Sorry if that's awkward. I have a lot on my mind. <laughs> uh, understandable. Hey, hold up. Oh no, it's... Doesn't really do anything right now, but that's okay. Who's this? Whenever I'm lost in Mohabumi, I always remember the three D's. Down, does, D. Open the map. <laughs> Wait, that's not very memorable. Wait, how do I open the map again? Oh no. <laughs> what button opens the map? Was it left? Up? X? This is terrible. I wrote notes for all my favorite spell songs on it, too. I need to find it. It's it's down. Down. Like that. It's easy to get lost in Mohabumi, especially if you're walking on the ceilings and walls. Sometimes I forget which way is up and which is down. Wait, down! That's it! Does down... <laughs> does does to open the map? I guess it was pretty memorable after all. Alright, buddy. Hey! I can finally explore the rest of this market. There's a lot here. Mostly crap. I guess this is what witches like, though. I was checking out this candy. It's really weird. Safi never made stuff like this. All this candy is made from stuff around here. You'd never see this back in Delphi. There's this one familiar flavor, though. It's kind of like this wild mushroom we used to pick. It grew under the trees in Delphi. She would cook it into everything. I don't think it's exactly the same, but the taste really reminds me of those mushrooms. I wonder if she was trying to mimic this. I wonder if Safi ever lived here. She never told me about it if she did. I never even asked her where she came from. I wish I had. I like to think she was here once. Or maybe she grew up here. I don't know why, but I like to think that. Interested in some candy, sweetie? They're all homemade from family recipes, passed down through generations of witches. I like candy. Of course you do. Try some of my dried worm guts. Uh, could I have candy? What? That is candy. My worm guts are the best in Mohabumi. Try, try. That's okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, dried worm guts, eh? If not the worm guts, how about my pickled bug horns? Do witches really eat these things? We love these things. Try, try. Uh. It's such a waste to come to Mohabumi and not even taste our candy. Try just one thing. I insist. F fine. Oh, hmm. That's really tasty, actually. Didn't I tell you? That's a very popular one. Sweet, crunchy bat flakes. <laughs> Would you like to take some? No, I'm okay. <laughs> ah. Better broom. Witches are the most fake, boring, annoying people on the planet, if you ask me. I'm not really proud to be one of them. And we're born with such strange hair colors. Pink, green, cyan, bleh. I like normal human hair colors. I guess that's obvious from my hair now. I don't really get why there's a war going on. Like, what's wrong with Rule? Did they do something? They seem cool to me. What do I know? I want to move out of here when I get older. Definitely not go to the academy. I'd go across the ocean. Or I'd go to rule, even. Starting a new life in a strange new place. That sounds almost kind of exciting. 
Well done. this. Great-great-grandma started the whole war with Rule. It's true, really. A long time ago, she was in Shishin, and she saw one of those animals. What do they call them? Queen? It was a beautiful bird, I think, and she decided to keep it. But later she found out it was the prince's queen. That's when it went missing. Uh, when it went missing, he panicked. They thought it was kidnapped by spies. Yep, so they started the war over it. You know, it was crazy because the queen liked my great-grandma way better. The prince was, like, really mean to it. It was embarrassing for rule, so they kept the real reason for the war a secret. But it was my great-great-grandma. Yep. Rest in peace. My whole family is crazy. We used to live in the Mohabumi castle. Yep. When I was a kid, it was my job to brush the queen's hair. I had to do it every day, even though I was so young. My dad was, like, a political advisor to her. So he knew, like, all her secrets, but he knew too much, yep. One day he found out something he wasn't supposed to, so the queen killed him. Yeah, it was so sad. We had to leave the castle forever. I never found out the secret that got him killed. But I think it was about one of the princesses. Yep. They're always doing illegal stuff. They can get away with anything, because they're royalty. Uh-huh. I'm not sure whether or not to believe the stuff you're saying. When I was young, everyone said I was a prodigy, prodigy, like with magic. I studied in the castle with the princesses. They were all jealous of me, though, because I was so talented. I tried for the academy when I was still a kid, took the entrance exam and everything. The proctor told me my exam was flawless, too, when I handed it in. But then later, when I got the official results, my score was terrible. But then I looked at the answers on my exam, and it wasn't even my handwriting. They switched my exam on purpose. Yep. It was totally corrupt. The queen bought my score for one of the princesses. I guess she wasn't too smart either, based on her exam. So I never got into the academy. Crazy, huh? Again, I'm not sure if you're lying or not. Oh, uh, let's see. Aha! Hey, I recognize you. Oh, hey, it's the criminal. Shh, hey. Please don't say that so loud. I don't want to get in trouble. Ah, oh, don't sweat it. A criminal record's like a badge of honor. Well, to me, anyway. I won't tell anyone your cool secret. Is this your first time in Mohabumi? How do you like it? It's pretty big. Feeling overwhelmed? I guess, since we can fly and walk on walls and stuff doesn't feel so big to us, but it must be shocking if you don't have magic. When you get a chance, you've got to check out the crater. It's the theater in the upper area of the city. All the coolest acts come through there. I hear there's a band there from across the ocean. <laughs> hmm. I wonder who that could be. Huh. That's a weird mirror. Hey, how can I help you? Want to buy a potion? I don't have any money. Aw, too bad. My potions are the best. I like to really go with the flow, you know? I make my potions fresh every day. I just kind of listen to the universe and see what ingredients it wants today, and then I use those. Sometimes it gets weird, but sometimes I make nifty new discoveries. I think I'm really in tune with the now, you know? You know, the whole universe, it's just all of us in one big mushy pile together, and we all mix together in different ways, but we're all really part of the same one thing. I like thinking about that, and about all the ways all the little pieces mix together. That's why making potions is the coolest. Sounds pretty cool. Miriam, how do you keep getting ahead of us? So, they make potions here. 
And that's your specialty, right? Uh, more like my grandma's specialty. I just picked up some things from her. But we can never make potions like these. We just use what was around us in Delphi. What's your specialty? Hmm, I guess I'm pretty good at blowing stuff up with my fingertips. That's very violent, Miriam. Do you really like blowing things up? Well, yeah. It's really fun. I don't know. That's just what my magic does. But magic is so different here. Witches have all these different uses for it. They do lots of things with it. I feel so simple by comparison. I thought doing magic made me a witch, but we're barely even the same thing. I feel so different from everyone here. My grandma's the only one who feels like home, and we haven't talked in a long time. I keep wondering if she's okay. I bet she's worried about you too. Yeah. And, I mean, you know, what if we don't even, if we don't make it in the end? What if the world ends? Last time I saw her could have been the last. I never thought about that. Well, I did. I think we'll make it back, Miriam. I guess I don't know for sure. Either way, you don't have to feel alone. Because you have me. That's nice. <laughs> Oh, I'm so tired. I was up all the night before partying, and then I had to work today. I think I'm starting to see things. You look like a happy green elf. <laughs> Are you really here? You look so ridiculous. I'm real? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. Wait, that's exactly what a hallucination would say. Tell me a story, sweet little hallucination. I'm real, but okay. Once there was a happy unicorn. Mm -hmm. Except the happy unicorn wasn't happy because, um, she lost her horn. Mm, oh no. Yeah, so she just looked like a normal horse. But in her heart, she knew she was a unicorn. And her name was, mm, Miriam. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's so... <laughs> so, Miriam the Unicorn, she went looking for her horn, <laughs> and you should get some sleep. <laughs> ah. That's not helpful. Okay. So, we need to go that way. But there might be interesting stuff over here. Oh. Or there might also just be stuff we can't actually get to. Oh, well. Yeah. Mostly stuff we can't get to over here. Oh well. Don't be rude to anybody here. Mohabumi is a city of love. Well, I'm the only one who says that, but I'm gonna make it true by spreading love out in every direction. If everyone could learn to love and respect one another, the world would be a better place, bud. We don't need no war. We don't need no hate. Just feel the love. That's what it's all about. Some folks will laugh at you for saying wild things, even if they're true. Especially if they're true. But don't let the world stop you, bud. Let your love, love grow free. Uh-huh. Well, okay. On that note, <laughs> I think that's probably enough for today's episode. So, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Be sure to come back next time, and we'll continue exploring the city and seeing if we can make our way up to meet the queen. So, yeah. 
And if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to like, subscribe, all that jazz, or check down in the doobly-doo where you can find links to, you know, lots of different places you can chat with me or places you can throw money at me. Alright, thanks so much for watching. Bye!